comparing the Cocker Spaniel and Havanese size, coat, and grooming needs. Cocker Spaniel versus Havanese, a size and coat comparison when it comes to choosing a canine companion, there are countless factors to consider. One of the most crucial aspects is the size and coat type of the dog. In this article, we will compare two popular breeds, the Cocker Spaniel and the Havanese, and explore their distinctive characteristics, shedding tendencies, and grooming needs. Size comparison, both the Cocker Spaniel and the Havanese belong to the small to medium sized category, but they differ in terms of their height and weight. Cocker Spaniels are generally larger, standing between 135 to 155 inches at the shoulder and weighing around 20 to 30 pounds. On the other hand, Havanese dogs are smaller, measuring about 8 to 115 inches tall and weighing around 7 to 13 pounds. While size may not be the sole criterion when selecting a breed, it is crucial to consider your living situation and lifestyle. If you reside in a small apartment or have limited outdoor space, the Havanese might be a better fit due to its more compact size. Coat Comparison The Cocker Spaniel and the Havanese exhibit drastically different coat types. Cocker Spaniels boast a luxurious double coat, consisting of a soft, dense undercoat and a slightly wavy or flat outer coat. This breed is known for its beautiful feathering, especially on the ears, chest, and legs. Their coat requires regular brushing to prevent matting and tangling. The Havanese, on the other hand, has a long, silky, and wavy single coat that is often compared to human hair. hair. While they do not shed as much as other breeds, their coat requires extensive grooming to maintain its luscious texture. Daily brushing is a must to prevent tangles and keep their coat free from debris. Shedding and allergies, one significant advantage of both the Cocker Spaniel and the Havanese is that they are considered hypoallergenic breeds. This means they produce fewer allergens compared to other dogs, making them a suitable choice for individuals with allergies. That being said, it's important to note that neither of these breeds is 100% allergen free. Both the Cocker Spaniel and the Havanese still produce some dander and allergenic proteins, albeit in smaller amounts. It's crucial to spend time with the breed before making a final decision to ensure you don't have an adverse reaction. Grooming needs, as mentioned earlier, both breeds require regular grooming to keep their coats healthy and tangle free. However, the frequency and complexity of grooming can vary. Cocker Spaniels, with their dense double coat, require more extensive grooming sessions. They are prone to matting and tangling, so daily brushing is necessary. Additionally, occasional trips to a professional groomer for a trim are advisable. On the other hand, the Havanese's coat is generally easier to maintain. While daily brushing is still recommended, they do not require as much time and effort compared to the Cocker Spaniel. A monthly trim and regular baths are generally sufficient to keep their coat in good condition. Conclusion, both the Cocker Spaniel and the Havanese possess their own unique set of characteristics, and choosing between the two ultimately depends on your personal preferences and lifestyle. If you prefer a larger dog with more feathering and are willing to invest time in grooming, the Cocker Spaniel may be the better choice for you. However, if you are seeking a smaller, hypoallergenic breed with a distinct coat texture, the Havanese might be the perfect fit. Remember, dogs are individuals, and their upbringing and training play a significant role in their behavior and compatibility with your lifestyle. It is crucial to spend time with each breed, speak to reputable breeders, and consider your personal circumstances before making a final decision. With proper care and love, both the Cocker Spaniel and the Havanese can make incredible companions for many years to come.